Segulda in Latvia, the venue for race six of the BMW IBSF Women's Bobsleigh World Cup. Set it is Sunday morning on uh, a fresh New Year's uh, day or 2nd of January. And we are ready for the start of the action for the women's bobsleigh. 18 sleds in the field today and the first of two heats ready to get underway on this demanding track. Most raced monobob yesterday but John Morgan still no matter what your experience of this Segulda track it is a handful. Yeah a wonderful facility. The, there's a great piece online on Facebook about uh, Martin Dukar has given us the history of the facility. It was a spectacular documentary done by our team, narrated by the best, greatest skeleton rider of all time. Uh, the track, I mean, it's 1,200 meters. It's short. Aaron Nolte has got the start record here from uh, November 20, and uh, her and Deb Levy. And, you know, tight, quick turns, Martin. They come at you, you know, real quick. And the top three or four curves is where you're going to win or lose the race, according to some of the best athletes. We saw a lot of action up here yesterday, and then a couple labyrinth, three quarters, and then this big hard left. That good transition there, 11, 12, 13, 14, long straightaway coming up here. That really is a good factor. You're gonna go uphill here a little bit. Now, another, again, big sweeping left, hard pressure. G-Force, another straightaway. Boy, you can get in trouble down here quickly at a high speed. And next thing you know, you're, it's over. It's quick. It's 50. Look who's got the record. Andrea Greco from Romania. A great run she had up here a couple years ago. And uh, Martin, I bet you that track record gets broken today. It could well do. It could well do. We had the uh, track record lowered substantially in the women's monobob race. Uh, so Andrea Greco set that record in February 2020. And it may well go here in January 22. Lauren Alter is our World Cup points leader. She's not here. Kim Kalicki's not here. Rap Mariama Yamanka isn't here. There are a number of the top sliders not here. Kaylee Humphrey's also absent this weekend as she nurses uh, a niggle. And... Uh, a few more that we will not see here. However, it is a fairly strong field. The uh, last couple of races before the Olympics are going to be really important for a lot of the athletes to make sure that their nations get as many sleds in each of the disciplines as possible. For women's bobsleigh, seven of the eight World Cup results will count. The best seven will count. And for monobob World Series, the best five results will count. So there are the total IBSF rankings that everybody points, everybody earns from every discipline, but some of those still have uh, scores to be taken out. So it's hugely confusing and needs a lot of uh, time to try and work it out. Well, on our entry list today, Anne Van Nienhaus will be first away. Kim Uran raced here a couple of weeks ago in the Europe Cup. In fact, a number of the sliders did. And our last athlete will be a brand new starter for Germany, at least as a driver. Race 6, the BMW IBSF Women's Bobsleigh World Cup getting underway in Segulda, Latvia with Anne van Nienhaus and Sarah Ertz. Sarah, one of a number of summer winter Olympians in the field and 30 years old in her 53rd World Cup start as a driver. Best result here in sixth place back in 2018. One of only two World Cup starts she's made on this track. Well, she didn't qualify for the second run for the first two events of the year, which was very disappointing. But uh, the last three times out, 15, 16, and 18. And, you know, Anne's nemesis, as it always is, is to start. But good driver. And that counts for a lot here. The transitions between the corners are very fast and it's very easy to give away speed. Has a rattle out of 11. And Martin, she's made the choice. She had one World Cup race in the Monobot. Yeah. Uh, the, the new name, the Lonely Bob. Uh, she, yeah. she decided not to do it anymore. And, and uh, so she concentrated more here. And uh, the choice, so yeah. she'll be confused only in women's and well, two person sledding. Yeah, that, and that was her focus, was not to try and distract herself from being able to qualify for the games with the women's bob by also trying to qualify the monobob. So I think at the moment it's all hanging a little bit in the balance. She hasn't qualified yet, Martin. 
for the uh, next three weeks going to be important to her to pick up some yeah. points. Yeah. But, you know, she's going to be able to beat Jamaica and Ukraine, I think, uh, for one of those spots because she's going to get points here today. Yeah, I get a believe she's going to be 15th or 16th here today. But uh, she's through and down. She's the leader. Skidding. <laughs> she won't be the last person we see do that. Yeah. Over the hill and down the other side into 16. That's where the track crosses underneath. <laughs> it's busy. <laughs> it is busy. Next up for Korea, her 10th World Cup start. Kim Yuran with John Eun Ji behind her. Her third World Cup raced in November 17 and then in Innsbruck in November 21. So a patchy career for the great woman. Arden, I think we're going to see the track record go down big time today. And there's only 2,500 off it. Yeah. <laughs> Could well be. Kim is just, you know, she's... I don't think she's... Whoa! She's almost on her head there. Boy, that's what this track can do. Let's watch her here. Mm. <laughs> there's a few more gremlins yet to come down here. I mean, we can't fall asleep in this track. Not only the loose time, but... That replay I'll show it. Those are good lines there, Mark. So she corrected yeah. very well. Comes back. Not bad. Yeah, 1600s back. She was out to 2500s early on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just kind of go, okay, you got away with that, but don't do it again. She did She did make the race in Altenburg. She was 19th. Her first, she missed the race, the first two events in Innsbruck. So, uh, yeah. She needs some results. She needs like 18, at least a couple. The next three weeks, 18, 18, and 18 will probably get her in. Look at this, though. Mm -hmm. Hello. That'll certainly well, I, wake you up. Yeah, I wonder how much of this is converting from not doing too much steering yesterday in monobob and then having to convert to steering more to get the bigger bob around or the heavier bob around. I, 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 I disagree. I think there's more steering with those, uh, you know, monobobs than these. You know, there's more weight here. Yeah. Monobobs are constantly breaking out on you. The back end's always in a skid. I think there's more steering with the monobob. Of course, I Definitely. haven't driven a monobob. Yeah, definitely hard to convert. Behind Misha McNeil, Adele Nickel, uh, Welsh GB team shot putter. Her second World Cup, her first race ever in a bobsled was on the Olympic track in Beijing. And it's a 51st World Cup start for Misha McNeil. No races here in her career. Didn't do the monobob, so she's just focused on the two-seat sled, trying to get qualified for the Games. Well, she's got a lot of qualifying work to do, Mark. She's not on yep. that list either. Yep. And, you know, this is a athlete well, right. who has been the leader of, of events after yep. the first heat. But she's, she's got eighth, nothing going. Eighth in Pyeongchang. And There's no it looks like for that. It looks like she may not qualify this year. Now, of course, we take one result out, your worst result, but that still doesn't yeah, necessarily does. help her. She's 18th in points now, her best finish of the year, 16th in the opening event. Yeah. March, she does something here, and this looks like a good, this could be a track record. Yes! It is. Yeah, the first one. First one. Now that's, now there's Misha McNeil that we've known from the past. That might, I could dare say, I think that's the best heat for her of the season. Now, yeah. best heat of the year, but best heat of the season. It's her first heat of the year. Calendar. Didn't get. You know, got the same start as Ann. But, uh, but 51. Well, she's far off the start record. The start record's yeah. third, 21. Yeah. But all in all, Martin, look at these lines. This is Lisa McNeil, as I remember her. I think that's going to be top 10, 12. Of course, I said that yesterday about uh, Betty Meyer and <laughs> up winning a medal. Yeah. So I, that might be a good thing for her if I say it, that. It's a, full, it's a fool's game predicting what's going to happen on three sleds, isn't it? Well, let's see what Najesta Segeva of Russia can produce. European champion here in February 2020. 
She's had two World Cup races here and two Europa Cup starts, but of course for the Russians, they spend at least as much ice time here in Segulda as they ever do in Sochi. By 35, so that's much more competitive at the start, but that definitely won't be the fastest getaway. No, that's, you know, you're approaching track record, well, 1,400 from the track record, but Martin, I was disappointed yesterday in her monobop performance. I thought she would do much better than she did. I think she thought she would as well. She was a bronze medalist, but there was no catching Christine Debrun yesterday. No, but Third best speed would... only. That's a worry. Is she had one of the top starts. Ooh, she's late there. Yeah. She had one of the top starts yesterday, Martin. Track that she's done well on. Interesting, uh, isn't it? As soon as you take her out of a two-seat sled where she's sort of top ten-ish and put her on her own, she's among the top two starters. Track, record. track records for her. So Misha McGill's record one. lasted exactly two minutes. I think there's so two put, more you track You put her in a sled on her own, and boy, she can really start. So then you the snow coming in. At the back seat, the yeah. Snow. Well, and that, again, this flurry of snow, that might have a pretty detrimental effect. Next couple well, of sleds will get away with it, but if you're late in the run... Yeah, you got a lot of Myers-Taylor coming up two sleds. Mm. Late here, look at... Uh, she's got some air time. Yes, but a pretty good transition. We like you. So, Manchester with Julia Belomesnik behind her. They are our current leaders after th uh, four sleds. Fifth of our sleds is the woman who finished in the silver medal position in the European Championships right behind the Jezda two years ago, three years ago, no, two years ago now, uh, European silver medalist. She's had three World Cup starts here and two Europa Cup wins in 2020 with Katrina Vick behind her, Andrea Grecu in her 34th World Cup start. Yeah. Got some history on this track, as we know, from a couple of years ago. But the, uh, you know, Katrina Wick, Nick is a former skeleton athlete, Martin. Yeah. Push bar came in late. 1200s. Push bar still out. There. Thank you. Yeah. Not, not enough time early on to get it in. Corners one, two, and three are far too important. Does it make a difference? Yeah. Yes, it makes a difference. Yeah. Hundreds of seconds that things sticking out like that. You know, even the speeds are slow, but you can't tell me that doesn't have some impact. Oh, rough transition there, Martin. Second well, she's to start. Not a good run. Yeah. That's, she's not she sure. Oh, that's that's what what advisor up. Yeah. There's no time oh, to tough. get your hands off the D-ring, so Especially on this track. streaming down her face in this yeah. cold weather. Oh, and man. Across the line. 51-31. Wow. What? Let's watch her. What happened? She was what I think that places. hard hit up top. Yeah. That was yeah. Hard hit that might have jarred it. The head, the head gets bashed against the side of the cowl. It's normally right around the hinge area about the temples, which obviously is less than ideal for the head, but not great for the visor either. Well. A shed at the back. That would be our commentary cabin in more normal times. Well, let's see, it's open here, so it was early on that it got popped up. Yeah, it was up. This was a good transition, you know, she flying blind. Yeah. Look at the difference in speed. Almost two kilometers. Look at her. I wonder what did she try and do? She put her head down a little bit. Yeah. We got some just to, uh, just to get out of the airstreams, <laughs> clear her vision a little. Yeah, that was Oh. It's definitely not easy to see for Andrea Greco. She's got work to do in the second heat. She's fourth of our five sleds. Next up, Alana Myers-Taylor. Five sleds down in our field of 18. Alana with Lake Quaza behind her. This is Lake's sixth World Cup. She's done five in women's bob, one in a four-man. She's only yeah, she's... been off the podium in that four-man race. Every other time she's been with Alana in a, in a sled, they've been in the medals. 5.35. She's a uh, very formidable break person, break yeah. woman. And, oh, look at this. She's, look at that lead she had. She's already 400s back. What yeah. mistake did she make? She had a 1,600s lead. No, no, she had a 100s lead. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
in Sarajevo. So it's I don't see it halfway down the track. Coming back a little bit. That's speed, big skid speed. Here we go. Big skid this could be very close. Right here. This is a good line there, though. Best speed. She could back. do it. Still could in do the, it. And at the last track, track, track record. Tied. 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 All right, there we go. Tied. Quick shot, little, little prematurely of shot a robot. Okay. First run of the morning, Switcher's fingers are still a little creaky. We know how that feels, right? Yeah, I said there's going to be two more track record potential. There's one of them. Yeah. And there's, I think there's one more coming up that on the Canadian yeah. sled in the field that uh, uh, yesterday's winner. Stephanie winning. Schneider as well. Maybe Stephanie Schneider, yeah. yeah. Okay. She'll but, make a uh, uh, A lot of really... Uh, Mistake here, yes. yeah. double hit, but pushes away and comes straight. Mm, wasn't that straight, there was a skid. Here was pretty good. This is where she took the deficiency red and yeah. brought it down to a tie. It's it's where but. they don't make the mistakes that suddenly they sort of accelerate away. It's, it's almost like a, a hurdles race where everybody is clipping most of the hurdles. The fewer you clip, the faster you're running. Surprised she's what? got the same start time as Myers, though, as Sarah yeah. Gava. Thought she's usually better. Surprised. Next up is Wai Ming Ming of China. 11th World Cup start for here. She's not raced here on this track before yesterday when she was fourth in the monobob race. Wang Chuan behind her, her great woman. It's her fourth World Cup start. Push bar comes in a little late. That might be yeah. the... Uh, the trait, but uh, the start, of course, she gives up. You know, not bad, only a tenth of the start. That's, you know, make things happen with a tenth Nice down. smooth lines early on as well, only two tenths yeah. back. That start, that was the start deficiency. Now that's yeah. neutralized. She keeps it at 23. She's almost stopped the bleeding. Some good lines here. She keep it at that. Maybe come back a little bit. Not great speed, but again, you know, also you want, back this although you want good. your drivers yeah. to perform well, you also want them not to crash here. I would definitely be erring on the side of caution with sled setup rather than outright pace. Fourth place, 5102. Not bad. Yeah. But, uh, she's, she's, you know, they're all going to make it the field. So. Her best result of her World Cup career was her last race in Altenburg, finished eighth place. She is definitely finding her feet again this season on the European Eighth track. or sixth? Did she finish sixth? Wasn't she the top Chinese finisher in all uh, time? She was, she was eighth. Uh, no, actually, it wasn't the last Altenburg. It was the first Altenburg. A little clip there, and that sends her into a skid, into 16. <sighs> Could have been worse. And over the brow, in fact, this is into 16. Gets that crossed up. As soon as the sled goes light, if there's any sideways pressure, it moves across the ice. Well, next up, first World Cup start of the season for Stephanie Schneider, 35th of her career. Uh, two World Cups here. She finished in eighth and third in 2018 and 2020. Annabelle Gallander, her fourth World Cup. She raced in Beijing as well, Annabelle. Stephanie Schneider's last World Cup was Koenigsee in January of last year. Then she did the World Champs. She was injured during the summer, didn't make the German team. Well, there's a Not chance the for a track anyway. record with only yeah. 100 off the best start, because I, I don't think Myers Taylor had a very good up top. But she's 500s back, like Myers Taylor was, to yep. the Russian Sarah Gava. Stephanie, who's she's got a load of World Cup medals, both as a brake and as a driver. Not great speed. Not great speed. Well, she's been racing in Europe Cup this season, so I'm sure she was here two weeks ago. But she's still not finding the pace. Not Top not five at, at the line. Yeah, Four she's behind Y of China. Wow. Freddie Spiest isn't going to like to see that. Well, the German sleds underperformed dreadfully yesterday in the two-man. Their best result was sixth 
Francesco Frisia was 12th. They all lost ground in the second heat. But yesterday, there was some kind of gremlin involved, Mark, because Francisco Frederick has never yeah. finished 12th. Maybe, you know, <laughs> Not since not... November 2017. No, not, not in this Olympic quad. Quad. He's either not well, started a race or been first or second, yeah. which is an astonishing fact. He's never even had a bronze medal since the last Winter Olympics. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. So next up, Ying Ching for China then. 12th World Cup start for her. She was fifth in the monobob race yesterday. And Du Juani, a great woman, just 22 years old, her ninth World Cup start. And a fantastic battle between these two Chinese sleds in terms of who is going to come out on top. Right now, Ying has the upper hand over Y. Yeah, she's got the couple single-digit placings. Yeah. The highest rank, 12th in the uh, standings. What start? Well, what type of start we're getting here? Best results are the same as Y. 548, that's not bad. 300 slower than her teammate. Boy, what an eye-opening experience they've had. Martin last year being clustered yeah. in China, taking a thousand trips on the new track, but then coming out and you know, not you know, you get, you're only as good as your competition, and you've got to see what your competition is. You got to see the way they walk and live, and you got to get a feel for them. And so they're sixth race into the season, and I see improvement every time they come down the track. Yeah, top six speed, top six run here. So Y is in fourth place at the moment. Is the track just starting to go away a little? 4,500, 100th behind Stephanie Schneider. That's a good run from Ying yeah. Ching. And Schneider beat her by 1,200s at the start. Wow. Yep. I think the German sleds are very well set up for this track. They're, aren't not, they? they're not punching their weight, are they, the German sleds, definitely. Got one more to go. Well. Everybody hits there. Just how hard you hit. Yep. And the crossover here. Mm, looks like the nose made a quick adjustment as soon as she got on, and that might have cost her to get late to there. That is a big hit. Yeah. When, when your nose goes in at that angle. But she corrected very well, Martin. You know, didn't try and steer away from the. She didn't magnify it more. We have a Russian leader in Najesta Sergeva. Next up, one of her teammates, Lubov Chernik, 24th World Cup start for her. Her best ever bobsled result was fourth place here in 2018, the first World Cup race we had here. Alexandra Tarasova, her break woman, her last race was the 2021 World Championships. This is only her third World Cup start. Well, start time, manageable, I mean, I don't know if she's going to challenge for the top two positions, but a good drive. You know, she hasn't got a top 10 yet this year, Mark. She's mm, right no. on the edge a couple times. Finished in ninth place yesterday in the monobob race. And that was halfway down the field of 15. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. Good speed. Yeah, she's hanging in there, top seven. The moment yeah. without, but, but off a fifth start, seven. oh, not yeah. scared. This is real good, really, here, really well she? done there. Yeah, she's, it, it looks neat, but the speed is dropping away. She was fifth fastest okay. at the start, creeps in eighth quickest ahead of Andrea Greco by three hundreds. That's not a run you expect from somebody on what is effectively home ice. And Van Hoevenhaus has got seventh at the time, so she's yeah. on the verge of posting her best run. And uh, Misha McNeil, that's the one who's caught my attention as a person yeah. above, under par, I can say. And she needs it. Watch yeah. the hit. Okay. And everybody yeah, hit. Late, late, late. Yeah, it's really late there. It's the rocking Runner and rolling off the corner rather than the hit that's taking the energy out, isn't it? It's a great shock. You really see the friction on the runners. 
Yeah, the lights and the hypermotion camera exposed everything. I was good that you weren't that good there. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no mistakes now. <laughs> well, next up, Katy Bile of Austria, last year's World Cup champion. 41st World Cup start for her, second and fourth in the last two races here, and her best ever result came on this track in November 2020 with that silver medal. Well, we just keep waiting for her, like we are with Misha McNeil, to uh, you know show us what you got. And you know the last year's season, World Cup season winner, was because she was consistent. Yeah, this year, I mean, it's like the best result. She hasn't even sniffed the medal. Now she's sixth place is her best, and she's been tenth and in the teens. 16, 12, and 13 last three races. Only That's... the tenth best speed, but she's hanging on to fourth place on the splits at the moment. 11th speed, speed. it is going away. She's out to sixth position. This will be sort of seventh or eighth, maybe around Van Nguyen House, Lubov Czernik. Eighth. Wolfgang, what do you think? He looks a little happier yesterday when Benny Meyer was six hundredths off the lead. Yeah, she's five. Look at Belgium. Look at the uh, chi two Chinese sleds. Yeah. They snuck up in there above some of these athletes we're more familiar with. So the, the Chinese continue. And look at that transition. Whoa. 11, 12, or here, the this wasn't perfect, but nobody comes out of there perfect. That looked like she get out of there quickly, and that Ooh. wasn't the proper way yeah. to get down into that take on. Yeah, that definitely didn't help, did it? Watching the replays, she knows what the mistakes were, but the slow motion just exaggerates it. Najesta Segeva and Alana Myers Taylor are tied for the lead ahead of Misha McNeil. So 10 sleds down. We now get to Anastasia Makarova of Russia. Two Europa Cup races and yesterday's monobob here. And last time out in the monobobs uh, in the uh, EC races. So she was here in December. Yeah, Martin, she's had a great 18, 18, 12, 14, and five. Yeah. <laughs> five in the second Altenburg race. So uh, maybe, maybe she's coming, uh, you know, coming coming on now. It should be as we go to this Olympic season. Yeah, that was a huge up. result for her, wasn't it? Top five yeah. in a place like Altenburg. Yesterday, though, disappointing, only 11th. Of the only the third of the Russian sleds in the monobob. Well, she's about seventh now, and she's late there. Let's see what she does. Ooh, she got out of there pretty good. Well, she might have got out of there pretty good, but she might have had to steer a lot, Martin. She's got the ninth best speed now. She's falling. Oh, no, no, I take that back. She just got yeah. up into the fifth position. Nice. That's a pretty good run. Makarova, I think, has come out of her shell. She's up there in the top five again. Yep. Fifth well, last year. There is speed in the track, so what is she? She was 1400s quicker than Katy Bile. And 1600s, oh, hang on, more than that. Yeah, 1600s quicker than Lubov Czernik, her teammates. And that was a much better drive than Czernik, more experienced of the, tr of the two. Watch the hit here coming out. Let me show it right here. This yeah. is Norm. She falls off the curve, and but everybody's hitting there. That's why you can see all the space on the sidewall with the ice taken out. Good transition here. It's like on her terms. She's got to be happy with that. Yep. Two Russians in the top five. Top Next up. Christine De Bruyne, yesterday's gold medalist in the monobob, her second straight monobob win. Uh, what a great New Year's Day for her. But, uh, she was her second World Cup race here. Christian Budznowski, her break woman, making her 20th World Cup start. This is a formidable pairing at right the start here, they, line. Well, they got to get into the 30s, high, low 40s. 39, there it is, the high 30s. That's going to give her a chance now. She continues to drive like she drove in Monobob yesterday, or like she did 
She's won the last two Montebob races. Yep. And, and she's third in World Cup points. 11 back. That's what we saw out of Alana Myers Taylor. Fifth on the start, John, but second best velocity. Yeah. However, yeah. the gap is Ten growing. Best speed, 15 hundredths. That's still doable down here for top three. She's late. See, that cost is used late there and late on that next exit. 1700 back. Of course, she, she's coming late in the heat, Martin. Ooh, yeah. big mistake there. This is fourth. Yeah, 2900 back. All right. How about Misha McNeil hanging yeah. in there? I, I don't know if anybody else is going to. There's one more German sled, a couple Australians. Talking to Christine yesterday, she was saying that because they've had so much COVID in the Canadian team, they had to train after everybody else had left the track, and they were only allowed two runs a day. So she did one run in the monobob to qualify. She's only done three training runs, so basically one day's worth of training rather than two in the women's bob. So she's short on ice time. Well. Her she, ju she just crimped. did the monobob <laughs> training just so she'd qualify and expected nothing out of it. Ended up with the gold. Mark, the, uh, these uh, Cripps and De Bruyne were in separate houses than the uh, yeah. Canadians who all tested positive. So they were lucky yeah. to be in a separate. That's the only reason she's here today. And, Boy, and lucky she, that, that there's some break athletes that didn't test positive as well. Otherwise, yes, it would have yes. been monobob only. Yeah. Next up, Ashley Werner for Australia and a debutante, Tia Claire Toomey. Now, Tia Claire is a Commonwealth medal uh, gold weightlifter. She's a Rio Summer Olympian in 85 kilos weightlifting as well. She's a five times world CrossFit champion. So fast and fit, 550. It is her first bobsleigh race. Well, 19, 17, and 17, Ashley is posted in the first three events of the year. She's going to be better than that, because first of all, there's only 18 sleds in the field, and she's about 13th now. Ooh, that was really late. First season on World Cup for her. She's actually ahead of teammate Brianna Walker in the two-seat uh, points. She is off to do a double Europe Cup race weekend next week in Monaco. Oh, oh, skidding into really? 16. Yeah, it's really. Her speed, where is she going to end up? Eight. She is 14th wow. at the line behind Kim Uran. That's nothing she's going to write home about. That was not a good run. No, but she had a great trip to North America. We talked about it yesterday, didn't we, John? She was in a triple race in Lake Placid, got silver medals in all three monobob races and all three two-seat races. So, boy, she came back laden with medals from that one yeah. week in Lake Placid. If you want to win medals, <laughs> go over to that North America's Cup Tour. The competition is not what it is here. That's for but sure. I'm just surprised she's got the 11th best start and the 14th best downtime. That's that's probably the worst lines entering that curve of anybody we know, Martin. That was a, a parachute for sure. It all got away. Well, we'll say hi to her regular break woman, Sarah, who is uh, isolating in Germany with COVID. So hopefully she's up watching. And hopefully she's not feeling too bad. Next up, Martina Fontenev of Switzerland with Irina Strabel behind her. And Martina in three World Cups of four that she's entered here. Uh, didn't start the first. She got ninth, eighth and disqualified. So it's not been the greatest track for Martina Fontenev. What race did she get disqualified in, Mark? In, in the, the fourth race last time. Oh, here, here, yeah. Yeah. yeah she, she's got a 12th place finish so far. She didn't do bad in Monobob yesterday, but she's struggling most of this year. The best result here was eighth place in uh, 2020. In fact, Altenburg and Winterberg, she didn't even make the second run. Yeah. So, you know, good chance for her to maybe try and reach into a top 10. We've seen some uh, breakout runs. I mean, uh, this isn't one of them. Look no, at well, the speed. Only the 15th, and she is the 15th sled, so 
terrible slow of the lot. And she yeah. is between Kim Uran and Ashley Werner. So, wow. Yeah, her touch is eluding her this season, Martina Fontenay. Yeah. yeah. She needs some results. Yeah. Now, the Swiss are struggling a little in the women's game. Martina's not firing like she was last season. And her teammate is injured, Melanie Hasler. Watch how late this is. The crossover gives the review. Oh, you saw the hit. Look at that. You saw the spray come up like that. Spray coming up like that. That's called friction. A lot of it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you watch this. This is getting it sideways. It's not the way you want to look at the entry to the curve. She was ninth Melanie. before yeah. that skid, Mark. Ended up 14th. Yeah. Melanie Hassler has qualified for Swiss Olympic standards. Martina has one qualifying result out of the three required. Now, Jessica Sergeva and Alana Myers-Taylor tied for the lead here. So what about Brianna Walker and Kira Radingas? Brianna has not raced here before, took silver in yesterday's monobob race. And Kira, fifth World Cup start for her. She had never sat in a bobsleigh before she started the race in Innsbruck, apart from in training there. 14th World Cup start now for Brianna Walker. Yeah, first two of the season in Innsbruck. She didn't even make the second heat. But then she went to North America, and then she came back to Winterberg in seven, Mark. So. Yeah. This well, is Winterberg a... is basically her home track, although she and Christian Hummers live closer, I think, to... Uh, Not bad. Uh, no, 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 yeah. Top three. Top ten speed. So the snow is it's definitely dark. having a bit of an effect She's on the ice. 200 back. Oh! Well, oh, I didn't see that. I saw it. I knew she was late. Yeah. She was there. She was 200 back at the start. Only uh, 10 hundreds back when she crashed. She was in the top three for sure. Now, Martin, the yeah. key is can she get across the finish line? She does. Which she does. So she can go again, and it's, you know, there's only 18 sleds in the race. Yep. So she'll get 18th points. 18th points. That's like uh, 18th points in the World Cup is like uh, the seventh or eighth place in the America's Cup yeah. in points. Yeah. So hopefully they're both okay first. Yeah, well, they're both she out, was in a so... top. She was in a top five run there. Yep. Well, as you said, midway down the course, she was up to third on the splits. Late here, up near the yep. woodwork, and then Holds the split. <laughs> right there, you could see. Look at these pictures. Oh. Well-placed cameras there, and unlike the monobobs, look, at she's, she's not in. She can't, you know, this is where you get the burns. This is where you got to pull yourself in somehow. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's 60 miles an hour. It's easy to, you know, to think they can do that, but. Well, there's a growing number of athletes that are saying it's about time that burns vests were mandatory, and I have to say I 100% agree with that. There's they look fine. Mark. No need. Yeah, they look fine. There's absolutely no Father need to be Mick. injuring athletes with ice burns. They can be Father extremely Mick nasty. Her father Mick's probably watching, watching back and down under. Yeah. She looks fine. She was going for it. That was a top three or four run. Yeah. But this little track, short, you know, the track's got some persona. We haven't finished silver in the monobob yesterday, so she definitely had the potential to get in amongst the medals. They're just filling in the grooves you can see on the, you can see them clearly on the blue Tet logo, but you can see the groove from the sled. Bits that aren't supposed to be running on the ice tend to leave their mark. Well, they've brought the scabbards down that the runners sit in for transport, so the sled goes back in. There's the nose cowl. That will need to be fixed on again later. So German team waiting at the top of the track. And this is for Anna Spriers, who will be our final starter. Marco there in the center with the, the green hat on. He's the engineer. Manny Mahata. This leg comes for... up next. 
Yeah. And he's been here. <laughs> I wonder how many times he's been here in his long career as a driver, just hanging around, waiting for it all to happen. At least, uh, at least his nerves won't be jangling. But Giada Andreutti, and that's uh, Tania Vicencino, her brake woman. Well, Tania was a driver a couple of seasons ago as well. She and Giada both drove. Uh, both had crashes. I think Tania had a, a crash in Lake, uh, not Lake Placid, in La Plan. A little bit of uh, slush in a bucket. A little maintenance. Yeah. And the fill in the groove so that the sled <clears throat> doesn't tram line if it uh, gets up there. It shouldn't be too high up. But those are kind of right in the area where the sled would normally run. Can your head to the right? You can see down inside the sled there all of the comfort features that don't exist in a bobsled. <laughs> These things weren't made for an amusement ride, I can <laughs> tell you that. No, that's for sure. Okay, another couple minutes. Yeah. And as we go do some bio work. Great track, Fine. though, Martin, compared to when we first came up here. That beautiful piece on Facebook that, uh, well done, Eurus. That's, what a, it was a documentary, you know, and and a kid who, uh, I don't know if you realize it, but uh, the Dukars' dad, Dennis, manages the track. Yeah. So those two kids grew up here. They grew well, up. you know, they're, they're, bo they're bobsleigh brats, aren't they? This is yeah, this is where their dad yeah. was at weekends, yeah. and so they were tra trailing yeah. around behind him, and rather than do nothing, <laughs> they obviously got involved. And the same as me. You know, I, my mother would yeah. say, where do you want to go in the morning on the weekend? And uh, I could go, go skiing. Yeah. Go skiing, <laughs> or I could go to the bob run with my dad. I went to the yeah. bobsleigh track with my dad, yeah. so I identify yeah. with that. Mr. Bun, the baker's boy. Uh, by the yeah. way, uh, I, I hear from uh, Greg Cackett that Mick Walker is in Segulda. So he had a great day yesterday watching uh, Brianna Walker oh, take Mick. a silver medal. Yeah. yeah, so he's there. So he'll be uh, watching this back later, I'm sure. But yeah, disappointing for him and for Brianna Walker. That crash. We are getting ready to go again. Two sleds remain in this first heat. Watch Giard Andrews, who there, the driver, just kind of <sighs> right, puffing, resetting herself, trying to get that focus back. They'll have done all their warm up, they'll be ready to go. The sled is moving closer to the block. The brake woman appears, then the driver appears, then stop, turn around, go back five minutes or two minutes or longer or shorter. Never quite sure in the circumstances as an athlete how long the hold is going to be. I think actually Tanya is wearing a Burns vest under her speed suit. She's, she's a say, military not entirely athlete. entirely surprised why not. She's a military athlete. Martin, she's 35 years old. She might be the oldest yeah. brakeman in the field. Yep. Well, in fact, they're both wearing Burns vests. I think, again, it is definitely time that we saw those as a mandatory requirement. Nobody's allowed to slide without a helmet on just because they fancy not having a helmet. I think a Burns vest is absolutely part of the equipment they should use. Let's get our race back underway then with Italy's Giada Andreuti. Ninth World Cup start for her. Was here in January 2020 in Europa Cup. Raced in December 21 and in the monobob as well. So she's got a little experience of this track. 569 getaway. Martin, she's on the, well, she's going to make the cut, of course, but uh, 20th place is her best position for the season. She gets to the bottom, she'll, she'll better that, but she needs points to qualify. She's going to need some, you know, 16, 17 in the next three races to have a chance to qualify in points at the Olympics, and yeah. that won't help. 16th at the start, out to 17th on the splits. So Brianna Walker, of course, was quicker at that stage before she crashed. 13th best speed, though, so this should perhaps bring her a little nice further fly. up the order. Give her some credit there. That was a good line. Yeah. 
chasing Ashley Verner. Doesn't get there, but she is in seven to, in 16 spot out of the 17 sleds. So, best result of her career, 10th place in Innsbruck last year. But as you say, John, this year, two 20th spots are the best runs. Yeah, they can. You know, one's one athlete's in the Air Force, the other one's in the Army. So, military athletes, either that or your Carbonara mm -hmm. in Italy. Yeah. And this was oh, one of the hardest hits there. And this, visually, you know that's late. Hanging in there, but here the straightaway going uphill. Gravity Sport, she does pretty good over the hump there. So Gerda Andriuti is down and away goes Anna Sprayers, formerly Anna Lobenstein. She was a great woman turned driver, 26 years old in her World Cup debut. Vanessa Mark yeah, behind her, the great woman. Mark had to go Vanessa deep, was... deep, deep into the, into the uh, yeah. bio yeah. to find. And I found, you know, somebody said, well, your name used to be Lobenstein. When she was Lobenstein, she was fourth place in the world's in the team competition in Innsbruck. Yes, she so was. She, yeah, pushing Mariana Yamanka. She, she was a break woman for Yamanka. Wait, oh, wait. And she's gone as well. Uh, she was on the Europa Cup podium here in January 2020 and in December's race just three weeks ago. She was second to Stephanie Schneider. She's had three Europa Cup races on this track in the last two seasons. That is not enough, I'm afraid. Across the line, uh, slightly Look ahead of up. Brianna Look Walker. Up. Look how far up she comes, though. Yeah. Let's hope both athletes get up. Looks a little stunned. So 12-13 claims another victim. Yeah, so Anne, 26 years old. One previous World Cup start was Lake Placid in January 2016, John. We were there, watched her pushing Mariam Yamanka. Hauling it off here, she knows, just like Brianna Walker did, that she was in trouble. But by the time you react to that, it is too late. On this track? Yeah. That's the number one gremlin spot. And that's got two of our last three sleds. I don't think Anne would have been in a top 13 or 14 spot before she crashed. She had eighth best start, 13th best time. So yeah. she was coming down, and then that's when the lights went out. But, uh, you know, in my day, which was a long time ago, we get out of the sleds. Now they just tell them to get in, stay in that little yeah. cocoon. See Vanessa Both Mark in the background, and, and there on the wall is her driver and Spreers. Uh, uh, Vanessa's not her first rodeo. It's only her sixth World Cup start, but uh, she will hopefully be able to go again. Our race leader, well, our race leaders are Majesta Sergeva and Alana Myers Taylor. They tied for the new track record. They had equal starts, John. Both got away in 5.35 and equal at the bottom, 50.72. So yeah, the, uh, a, a lot of came back the videos, the... they'll be totally yeah. different runs, won't they? How does that yeah. work? <laughs> so Misha McNeil, are. though. I like that. Yeah. Misha McNeil could be on the way to potentially her best career result. Let's hope she can hang on. Christina Brun in fourth, ahead of Wai Ming Ming and Anastasia Makarova. Then Stephanie Schneider, the best of the German sleds in seventh. Ying Ching, Anvan Nguyenhaus, and Katy Bile will round out the top 10. Behind them, Lubov Czernik, Andrzej Greco, Kim Uran, Martina Fontenev, and Ashley Werner. Gyada Andriuti got down safely as well. But for our newcomer, Anna Spreovers, and for Brianna Walker, crashes in that 12-13 transition have cost them a good run.
Our second heat gets underway at 10.30 local, 08.30 GMT, 03.30 Eastern. We'll see you then. That is in just over 40 minutes' time. Here we go. 